This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an ACE2 tubular lock in a T handle format. Now, this is one of the most requested locks on this channel, and whenever anyone requests that I feature an ACE2 lock, I always point them to my video number 68, in which I picked four of them in a row and also took one apart so you could see what was inside. However, people seem to insist that these T-handle locks are somehow different, so I will feature one of these as well. Now, the ACE2 locks are special among tubular locks because they are one of the few mainstream variants that are not susceptible to opening with a tubular lock impressioning tool like this. That's because they employ varying length driver pins and varying strength springs, and what that means is that when you apply equal force to each of the pins, as a tool like this will do, it does not tend to bring the lock to the shear line. And you can see those varying springs and driver pins at the end of video number 68. I'm actually not going to take this one apart. However, just because it, we can't use a tool like this doesn't mean these locks can't be picked with relative ease. And you can do that by single pin picking them. I use a, a tubular lock tensioning tool like this. I got this one from usalockpicks.com, but similar things can be bought from Sparrows as well and probably some other companies. So let's get some tension on here and get to picking. I just go in a circle with a broken pick like this and just press on each pin and when I find a binder, I press it down just a little bit until it pops and then I keep going. One other thing to note is that these key pins and driver pins are both tapered at the ends, which sometimes means that you will have to set them more than once. Okay, let's get started here. One, little click out of two, little click on three, click on four, click on five, nothing on six, nothing on seven. Another click out of one, another click on two, nothing on three, four, click out of five, click out of six, nothing on seven. Okay, just got a tiny bit of movement on the core, which means we're probably close. Okay, we just picked it the first position and let's go until it locks again. Okay, so you can see, however, this little lug did not go down yet. We're gonna have to pick it a couple more times before that locking lug retracts. So let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, and when you have it away from the 12 o'clock position, only six of the seven pins will engage. So it's actually faster to pick each subsequent time. We should be close, not sure what's holding us up right now. There we go. Okay, this started to retract, but we're not fully to the point where this lock will open it up. So let's keep going. There we go, there's our binder. Got to click there, back to the beginning. There we go, got another click. Okay, and that's actually as far as this will retract. 
This will allow, once it's retracted to this point, you can open whatever T-handle device that this is installed in, and uh, well, and that's it. To actually remove this core from the T-handle device, you actually have to take it apart and manually press this down. That's why you don't see this retracted all the way. So in any case, this has been an ACE2 T-handle lock. These are not difficult locks to pick and probably shouldn't be used in vending machines anymore, although you do see them every now and then. The pick resistance just is not up to snuff. So that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.